Yo guys, what's going on? My name's Eclipse, and today I will be telling you guys how you can get a free Electro Wizard. So real quickly, before I do get into the video, I would just like to say that if I sound a bit off, or if I sound a bit different than normal, just understand I feel really crappy right now. So I just figured I would get that out of the way now before anyone starts commenting random stuff. Also, one more disclaimer, special shout out to Orange Juice, Galadon, and Wicked Gaming for making this video possible. Basically, I don't have access to any of this footage and those YouTubers were kind enough to let me use theirs, so it's not like I'm stealing it from them. I asked them, they gave me permission. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. This right here is what the menu looks like and as you can see there is the Electro Wizard challenge and it is free to join and basically if you can get 12 wins in this challenge you get a free Electro Wizard. Now right here as you can see this is just like the deck builder screen. Now on here you can build any deck in the game with any single card even if you don't have it unlocked. Also if you're looking next to that elixir button that right there is actually like a random deck generator. So as I was saying this is really cool because because you can make a deck with any card in the game even if it isn't personally unlocked for you and as I was saying before that if you do get 12 wins in this challenge not only do you get the same reward as a grand challenge you also get a guaranteed Electro Wizard and another thing that makes this so special is you can complete this as many times as you would like so there is a chance that you can get enough Electro Wizards to fully upgrade the card before it even comes out. That right there is absolutely amazing. And this right here is actually the chest opening and this is from Orange Juice. So as you can see there are zero wins but any second out it is just going to teleport to 12 and then you will get to see the mega chest. So right here as you can see 12 wins and it's the same prize as a grand challenge which I already said and this is just like a speedy chest opening but the very last card is none other than the Electro Wizard. Now right here you can see all of the contents of this chest and this is just absolutely amazing and as you just saw in that chest opening right there, Orange Juice actually got two legendaries. So through this challenge not only can you get guaranteed Electro Wizards, you can actually get other legendaries on top of that. So now that we covered how this tournament works, let's get into some gameplay of the Electro Wizard because trust me, he's awesome. Hopping right into the first battle from Orange Juice, let's just see how this one goes. Now real quickly, I would like to apologize if this one looks abnormally fast. Keep in mind, I didn't record this footage. This footage is all from Orange Juice himself. So again, he fast forwarded it, not me, but still that's not too important because we're just here for the Electro Wizard Madness. So right here, the battle is just a normal battle. Nothing too special, nothing crazy going on. But right there, there's the Electro Wizard and as you can see, he just does some crazy zap tactics and takes care of that princess in just two hits. Now from what I've heard, people have said the Electro Wizard, it's not like he's insanely overpowered, but he offers good value for three elixir. So in other words, he's similar to how the Princess and the Ice Wizard play. Now I do feel like he sounds extremely overpowered, and that's probably just because he literally zaps everything, but again, I have never personally used him, so I'm gonna have to wait and try him out for myself. But right there, as you can see, he just shut down those Elite Barbarians. Variants. And now we have a mini push of our own and something which is cool is the Electro Wizard attacks multiple things at once I'm not too sure how well you guys saw that up top But he was actually shooting two things and I'm sure I zoomed in on it and honestly at this point it happened too long ago So I should probably move on but there goes the first battle and let's hop into another now This footage is from the homeboy Galadon, you know Galadon and I have the best relationship ever Let's be real, but to start this battle off we have an ice golem in the back and then a mega minion up top we have a little bit of an elite barb and ice golem action going on and I actually have a quick question for you guys. When you deploy Elite Barbarians, do you deploy them so they split up into two sections, or do you make sure that they both stick together? Kind of a random question, but I'm just curious on what you guys do, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. But back on track to this battle, still nothing too interesting has happened yet. About a minute has passed, give or take, I guess, and still no major plays have been made. Now, Galadon, I see him down there with that roll 
Royal Giant. He's disappointed me just a little. Galadon, you better take that thing out of your deck before I, before I what? I don't know where I'm going with that one, but returning back to the battle, we have some elite barbarians pushing over the bridge, but unfortunately, there was a minion horde to shut those down, and still, this battle's pretty slow, but again, the battle's still early, I don't really expect too many big things to happen, and I'm just waiting for Galadon to use this Royal Giant and Electro Wizard combo. I don't know if it'll be good, I don't know if it'll be bad, and something which I haven't said yet is I haven't actually watched any of these replays pretty much I made sure they had gameplay of them on their channel I asked them if I can upload it and then I downloaded the video and I'm watching it now for the first time So this is all some live reaction stuff and I'm not too sure why both these players are both using royal giants I mean both of them might have had issues growing up Maybe they were bullied or something, but my god. Why do they have to use the royal giant? Let's be real Real here. If you guys use the Royal Giant, take some advice from Eclipse and do not use it! Hopefully I make myself clear. Holy crap, that was really loud as well. Everyone in my house right now is probably just like, what is he doing in his bedroom? Why is he screaming to himself? Is life really this important at this point? And to answer their question, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just trying to enjoy some gameplay. But again, we have some more Royal Giant on Royal Giant action. Now on the top left, there was a minion horde, but the tower got destroyed. So it doesn't matter that the minion horde was ever there. And on the bottom right, that royal giant, he kind of got shut down. I mean, he did a lot of damage, but he didn't actually destroy the tower. So right now, there's 17 seconds left. I imagine Galadon is going to win this. And if you're looking at the towers on the top right compared to the bottom left, there's a pretty strong chance Galadon is going to take the W. Let's just be real, or let's just be real. And I'm not too sure. Oh my god, I just realized something. When you put the Electro Wizard down, he acts like a zap spell. Oh my god, how did I not realize that until now? Now I'm sure there's a lot of people like Eclipse you are the stupidest YouTuber I've ever met. I don't know how you have this many subscribers. I don't know why people watch your videos, but please end your channel. And for those of you people who are saying that, like, look, did you guys ever notice that until I pointed it out or what? That right there is actually pretty cool. And I'm kind of stupid for not realizing it, but oh well, Galadon won this battle, so let's move on. Moving on to the third and final battle of the video, and this one is coming from Wicked Gaming. Now, one thing I would like to apologize apologize if there's any crazy flashes or zooming in there if you watch his videos it makes sense why he edits the way he does but in my video it might just seem kind of out of context I guess and again I haven't watched these videos so I don't know how he's gonna edit exactly but a majority of the time Wicked edits his videos with some crazy zooming in and flashing so I just figured I would get that disclaimer out there right now now Wicked Gaming is on the bottom and he's against the Game Hunter so the Game Hunter is up top and my friend Wicked is actually running spawners. Again, first we have Royal Giant and now a spawner user. What has this world come to? Does everyone just use decks I hate now? Let's be real. So I guess in my next video, I should just run Sparky, Expo, Royal Giant, and spawners. Maybe I will then be accepted by Supercell. Do they just look for scummy decks or what? Am I right or am I right? But back on track, we have a Sparky deck up top, and speaking of scummy decks, my god, can you be real here? Everyone is just using scummy decks, and that right there was a little flash, but I kind of like it, because we can get in on the action and see what's going on, so thanks Wicked for that little edit there, actually saving me some time so I don't gotta edit this dang battle. You feel me? Yep, yep, you feel good stuff, but back on track to this battle, Wicked just put a furnace down, and he's kind of having a hard time pushing. The Ice Golem is such a good card and it's just tanking up all of that hit point damage stuff all of the damage, that's what I'm trying to say. And at this point, I feel like the battle's kind of like a stalemate. Nothing's happening, no major plays, everything's just kind of slow as of now. But if you're looking at the timer, two times Elixir has just began. So now, interesting plays should be made. We have some giant on giant action. Never mind, one of the giants turned. But let's just see if any of these players can get something off. Because as of now, the battle's extremely slow. I hate spawners, so this makes me not want 
want to watch the battle even more but if you're on the left side right there you can see a sparky and an ice golem now we have a little zoom in there there's the electro wizard going in and I kind of want to see that bottom left so please zoom out please zoom out oh god okay I was afraid we wouldn't get to see sparky there luckily nothing special happened during the time it was zoomed in but back on track to the video we got some more action two barbarian huts oh my god this seems miserable I feel so bad for this dude up top like let's be real the top three decks I hate in clash royale and these aren't in any order at all spawners expo slash mortar and Royal Giant. Those three decks right there will just about piss me off in any case. And if you're looking on the right right there, there are a lot of troops. There's Barbarians, a Princess, a Giant. I think there were some Fire Spirits in the mix, but it looks like my friend Wicked is probably going to take a W here just because he has so many damn troops down. But there goes the end of this battle. Yeah, there we go. The battle officially ended, and that is all of the gameplay I do have. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like down below and real quickly I would like to apologize for my randomness in this video I'm not too sure where it's coming from like I feel like I'm extra weird slash extra random for some odd reason and again I don't know why this is maybe it's because I don't feel well who knows not really a big deal though but guys again this has been Eclipse thank you all for watching and peace out